What is going on YouTube? Crypto for Change here. My name is David and today we are going to be taking a look at how to get your hands on any Algorand standard asset. Uh, I've had quite a few friends, family, even people here at the apartment complex I live at asking me, you know, how do I get some of these other tokens that maybe aren't listed on, you know, the most popular exchange if you're in America that most people are buying their crypto from, which is Coinbase. Um, so there are some ways in which you can easily access some of these cryptos uh, in, in not a very confusing way, but I will break down step by step what you need to do to be able to get your hands on things like Opulus, Smilecoin, Yieldly, Choicecoin, and tons and tons of others so that you can start participating not only in some of the DeFi projects built on Algorand, but also just so you can have some of those in your wallet and be ready for the next big run I think we're going to see in 2022. So do me a favor and smash that like button if you're new to the channel. Make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. We will be having a giveaway coming up soon and some possible interviews coming up that I think you guys will really enjoy. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So first things first, we are going to start on Coinbase. Uh, I do realize you know, there may be viewers here who, are not, who don't live in the US and you may use a different exchange than Coinbase and that is totally fine. Uh, most of the people I know though and most of the people who are getting into crypto here in the US, usually the first place they're landing is a Coinbase, you know, it may be a Robinhood or something else, but Coinbase is the, you know, one of the exchanges where if you're buying crypto, you actually have the ability to, uh, you know, move it around. You know, some of the other exchanges that you can buy crypto on, you know, they may lock your crypto or they may be holding it and you can actually touch it or move it. But with Coinbase, if you're buying it there, you can move it around. So I, that is where we're gonna start. I'm not gonna go through all the steps on how to set up your Coinbase account. I think that's pretty straightforward. You would just come to their website, coinbase.com, click the get started tab and it's going to walk you through, you know, all of your KYC as well as, you know, setting up your bank account and being able to connect where you can actually put your funds to Coinbase. Um, but what I'm going to do is kind of take a step after you have your Coinbase account set up, the steps you would need to do to be able to get your hands on any Algorand standard asset or any ASA. So the first thing you're going to want to do is once you're in your Coinbase account, I would recommend buying Algorand. Uh, and the reason for that is because to get any of these Algorand standard assets, you're gonna wanna have Algo so that you can swap for it. So once you were on Algorand and you're over here on the Buy tab, now this might look different if you're using your phone, but nonetheless, it should be pretty simplistic to find Algorand and then click buy or trade. Uh, and then once you do that, I'm going to select just $100 here that I'm gonna buy. Obviously, it's already connected to my bank account, so I've already went through and did those steps as well. I'm gonna preview the buy. It's also gonna show me here how much the price algo I am buying it at, also the Coinbase fee, because there will be a Coinbase fee, um, but that should be the only big fee that you're gonna pay really doing this transaction. And then you're gonna come down and you're gonna hit buy now. So it will show me that my transaction is completed. I can click out of that. And now what I wanna do is I actually want to send my the Algorand that I just bought to my algo wallet. Now to start there, you know, before obviously we send money to a wallet, we would need to create one. So coming over to wallet.myalgo.com, I'll link that in the description below. This is where you will want to set up uh, your Algorand wallet. Now, obviously there are a few wallets that you can choose between. Um, the Algorand wallet, which is actually one you can get straight on your iPhone or Android uh, through the App Store is another viable option. And there is others. I like the MyAlgo wallet because it very seamlessly integrates into apps like Tiny Man, uh, where we're going to be doing the swapping, and it also integrates into things like Yieldly and just many of the other DeFi projects that are on Algorand. So I would recommend coming over, creating your Algorand wallet, and once you do, and once you get into it, this is what it's gonna look like. So obviously this is one of my wallets that I have. This is the one I do most of my swapping for on Tiny Man. And so I just kind of want to give a brief rundown of this interface just so you know what you need to do and where stuff is at. So first off, up here at the top, you're going to see this is your Algorand address for your My Algo wallet. So whenever you're sending your Algorand to this wallet, this is what you would need to do is you would need to come here and hit copy this address. Now over here on the left side, you'll also be able to add different wallets. You can also add an address book, meaning if you have friends who have 
wallets. Uh, you can actually start to store their addresses there if you ever need to send them money or send them algos or send them anything uh, crypto wise, you can do that. Up here, they just have the asset manager and the new governance uh, tab that you can click on. We're gonna stay on the wallet for right now. And then this will be your transaction history of you know any swaps you do, sending, receiving crypto will all show up here. You can filter these by clicking the three little dots. You can say, you know, you can filter it by a specific coin that you have on here, uh, or you can just have it like I do, which is buy assets and it's on all. And then you have your send receive buttons. Up here will also show you your balance. So if you click on this little drop down, and this is important because we do have to do a few things here before we can actually do a swap. Um, but this is gonna show you your balance of all your assets that you have. Now, obviously you'll see I have a few of them listed here. And the reason for that is because I had to add the asset. And I'll show you how to add one is you, if you click here on add asset, it's gonna bring up a little pop-up window. Here is where you would need to type in whatever asset you're going to be swapping for on Tiny Man. You'll need to make sure your wallet is opted in to receive. Now I will say before you can actually opt into any asset you do have to have some algo in your wallet so now that we kind of understand you know what the my algo wallet looks like what some of the functions and features are let's go ahead and send our hundred dollars that we bought in algo to this wallet address so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to copy our address so let's go up here and hit copy address to clipboard so now i have that copied and now i'm going to go back to my coinbase account and hit send receive and we're going to just hit send all now i did have a little bit of extra algo in my wallet so you know that's why the number there is higher than just the hundred dollars i already had some sitting in my wallet i just want to show you guys how to go ahead and purchase that now we're going to right click and paste our wallet address that we copied from our uh, algo wallet into that field and if you click out of it one thing it'll, that's really cool I like here is that it'll show you that this is an algo address you don't have to put a message you can if you want this is more for us say like if you were sending crypto to someone maybe to pay them for something you could put a note in there like rent or you know water bill or whatever it may be if you're actually using your algo to pay someone for a service done um, but you are paying with the Algorand. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. Obviously it's gonna give me another transaction screen just showing me what the fees would be. Now the good thing about using Algorand is the fees are very, very low. Uh, there is no Coinbase fee here for sending it. The network fee for sending it on Algorand though is 0.002 algo. So a fraction of a penny is what you're paying. And we're gonna hit send now. And there you go. After I put in the security code, it is sent. Now, if we go back to our Algorand wallet, usually it only takes a few seconds for this transaction to go through because that's just how fast Algorand is. So let's just give it a couple seconds here and there it is. So we already see now we have 133 algos in our wallet. Uh, obviously, if you were just sending, you know, $100, $500, whatever that may be, you'll see that pop up. Uh, and what the first thing you're going to want to do before we jump over to Tiny Man and we start swapping for some of these other assets is you're gonna wanna make sure up here in this drop down that you are opted in to whatever assets you're going to be swapping for. So if you're gonna be swapping for Yieldly, you'll, you'll wanna make sure you come up here and you click the add asset and you type in Yieldly. The verified one that you know is Yieldly will always have this little check mark by it. So make sure when you're opting into these assets, you do you know check the one that is verified and is for sure the correct asset. Same thing goes for something like Opulus. You could just type in Opal. It's gonna pop up there, the top one. It's gonna have that blue check mark. You would know that it's there. And just to show you kind of what this fully looks like, I'll opt into another one that I know at one point I'm gonna end up uh, swapping for, which is the fish token, clean ocean token. So it shows the check mark. I would just click that, hit continue. It's gonna go add asset, you know, in order to operate with the chosen asset, you must first subscribe to it. Subscription involves sending a special transaction. You can look at the details there, which has a cost of 0.001 algos. So I'm gonna opt in. It's gonna ask me for my password that I created with my wallet. I'm gonna send that transaction. And there you're gonna see it show pending and it only takes a couple seconds for this to go through. But once it does go through and it shows completed here, then you would be able to come to the drop down, scroll down, and you'll see that fish is in your drop down and you could then go and swap for it, receive it, send it, whatever it may be. So now that we've done that, 
let's go do a swap on Tiny Man and get our hands on some of these ASAs. So coming over to app.tinyman.org, I'll link that in the description below as well. You can see my wallet is already connected. Um, I, you know, it's easy just to disconnect, but once you get here in the top right hand, or I think even right underneath it, it will say connect a wallet. And then once you do, you do that, it will show you the My Algo wallet as a wallet that you can connect. You'll go through the, the opt-in process there. And once it's connected, it will reflect the balance of algos that show in your wallet. Now, here's one thing I recommend whenever doing a swap, at least currently with the liquidity that's provided on Tiny Man, I always recommend swapping Algorand with the other asset. Uh, it's just safer that way and you know that you're going to get a better, uh, you know that there's going to be more liquidity there so that you're going to get a, fair, a more fair deal than if you were to try to swap maybe, you know, yieldly for choice coin. The, you know, the difference may be too big and you may end up getting, you know, not such a great deal. Whereas if you were to swap Algorand for yieldly or Algorand for choice coin. So I always recommend swapping Algorand for the other asset that you're looking to get. But coming over here, let's just go and let's search one that we want to get. So we want to get more Yieldly. So we would just type in, if I could spell, we will just type in Yieldly. We'll see again that green check mark showing that this is the asset that we want. And then all we have to do is select the amount of algo that we would like to swap for the Yieldly. Let's swap 75 algo for Yieldly. So it's going to show me here 75 of my algo with the current price of where Yieldly is is going to get me 6,471 Yieldly tokens. Down here it's going to show you what your slippage is. It's going to show you the swap fee which is just 0.225 algo. So like I said it's not that high compared to the likes of you know an Ethereum if you're using Uniswap and then you know your price impact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here I'm going to hit swap like I said, it's just going to go over those details again, showing me the conversion rate there, the slippage, the swap fee, and the price impact. And it's going to show, show me my minimum received. What this means is if, if for some reason when I hit this confirm swap button, if it can't guarantee me this, it's going to kick back and say that the, the swap could not go through. And then I would have to re go through, you know, inputting the information to, to restart the swap. So I'm going to hit confirm swap. It's going to ask me for my password to my algo wallet. I will sign that transaction and then it's going to go through. There you can see it is done. Uh, just because I'm going to do one more uh, swap, I'm not going to redeem the excess amount that I actually had there. So I'm going to go back to swap. And now you can see right there that I have 58 uh, Algorand left or or eighty three dollars and eighty four cents. The cool thing about Tiny Man is the crypto never really leaves your wallet. So if now if I go back to my Algo wallet, I sign in, you're gonna see here, boom, fifty eight's there. And if I click on this drop down, you're gonna see that that Yieldly that I just swapped for is already in my wallet. I didn't have to go move it anywhere. I didn't have to get it from someplace. It's back in my wallet uh, immediately once the swap is complete. Now coming back to Tiny Man, let's go ahead and let's swap the remaining algo for something say like Opulus because that is another crypto that I know a lot of the people watching are wanting to get their hands on. So you would just make sure that it has the green verified by Algorand check mark by it. And then you would do, uh, you know, the, the other amount that you want to. I'm just going to do max and then I'm going to take away one just so I can claim uh, the excess at the end. So max right there would get me 20 Opulus tokens. I'm going to come down. Like I said, it's going to give you the same rundown of just, you know, price impact and minimum amount received, slippage and all that. I'm going to hit swap, confirm swap. I'm going to hit continue and sign the transaction. And again, once that is done, you will see the redeem button here. I'm still not going to click that just yet because I'm going to show you where you can just do a one transaction to collect all. Um, and then you can see that that is done. I'm going to go back to swap. If I go back and look at my at my wallet, it just reflects there. It shows me I have the 2.356 algos left. I have this 6,443 yieldly I swap for and the 20 opulus that I swap for. So that is a really easy way, guys, that you can take, uh, you know, you can onboard your, your cash from your bank account through Coinbase, set up your algo wallet, send your algo to your algo wallet, and then you can easily swap for any Algorand standard asset on Tiny Man. Because like I was saying, if you come back over here and you click to search and you hit see all, you're going to see tons and tons of verified assets that you can swap for 
on Tiny Man. So if you come up here to the top right and you click where your address is located, you'll see down here it says redeem excess amounts. So if you click there, you'll be able to come down and you can just hit redeem all. It'll show you how much you're redeeming. So I'm redeeming 0.10 and a bunch of numbers of Opulus and 32 Yieldly. So I'm gonna click redeem all. It's gonna again send me a transaction to my MyAlgo wallet. I'm gonna sign that transaction and it's gonna go through and add those excess crypto amounts back to my Algo wallet. And now that is done, as you can see, there is no more excess amount to receive. So now all the Algo that I swapped for is now represented in my Yieldly and my Opulus balance. So realistically, if you are looking for a one-stop shop of where you can you know, send your algo to and, and be able to get access to any Algorand standard asset, it is Tiny Man. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. I hope this video helped you get your hands on some Algorand standard assets like Opulus, Yieldly, and many others that are out there. If there's any questions you have about the process or anything maybe that I missed, uh, put those questions in the comments below. I will be glad to help. Uh, and if there's any other questions you have about you know, any of this Algorand assets that I've talked about in this video, Again, put those in the comments. I'm always there to talk uh, crypto and follow me on Twitter. I'm very active over there with just sharing good information that can help you decide which cryptos are good to buy and which ones you may wanna stay away from. So until next time, let's get out there and make some money.